Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another video and we're going to look at this beast of a casting. This is from uh, GOC Vehicle Museum. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about this, okay, but I do have one casting from them already. This was, uh, I've shown this on a previous video from GOC. This is a Ford Crown Victoria and uh, I was opening it up and was shocked to find like a Ford licensing sticker on the bottom. So it appears that this is licensed. Anyway, this is really nice quality. It was, it's a really, really cool car. I'm not going to pop this off the base right now. Like I said, I've seen it. We've shown it in another video. Um, you know, maybe I don't need to show it again. Well, maybe we do need to show it again. Let's just open it up real quick or get it off the base. Just so you can kind of check out what we should expect from this, uh, from this GMC... Savannah, which I am really stoked for. Uh, by the way, these GOCs, they, they make a couple versions of this Crown Vic that you can pick up. They have a couple, I think they have a couple other castings. They come in this really nice base with like a faux leather, uh, you know, stitched kind of thing going on here. It's, it's really actually quite nice and premium feeling. And again, this one you know, appears to be licensed. I did get this, both of these from AliExpress. I think this was my first AliExpress purchase ever, was picking up that. And, um, yeah, I mean, no licensing on the actual package, and it just says Crown Victoria. It doesn't actually say Ford on it, which is kind of interesting, which means that the licensing's probably a little murky. I don't know how hard is it to really just put a sticker on, but it is that Ford kind of holographic sticker i mean it might be legit so i don't know can you scan that qr code and find out maybe i don't know all right anyway this thing rolls it's got a metal base with some detail on the bottom it's got a metal body which feels like very high quality clear coat on this and very thick it almost feels like it could be plastic but it's not or resin but it's not it's metal Good detail in the front, good detail in the headlights. So I was really kind of impressed with this model. So Crown Vic forever. And um, good detail in the taillights, as you can see. Uh, just all around a pretty impressive uh, 164 scale vehicle. And I thought it was really neat and cool. And... I really liked it. So when they when I saw that they were putting out this, I was like, what? Uh, very interesting. Very cool. Very large. So we're going to check this out. This is really the purpose of the video. So we chat, GOC Vehicle Museum, Cena. I don't know what those are. Those uh, some sort of uh, Chinese uh, social media things. I'm not sure. This does contain small parts, not suitable for children under 14 years. Long exposure to direct sunlight or high spotlight may cause damage. Interesting. High spotlight. And uh, it's, these, these look pretty nice. This looks to be pretty nice. Now, full disclosure, I did pull this out of the pack. I didn't unscrew it from the base, but I, I did pull it out. And I did take a look at it pretty much up close. So it's your standard fare kind of premium die cast packaging where you get an acrylic case, of course, and that kind of cardboard outer. But the difference in this, of course, is that you've got this like faux leather uh, piece on top where the car rests on, which is kind of a unique thing. I, I haven't really seen that much. So... I mean, just right off the bat, looking at the front of this, I mean, that looks, that grill just looks very impressive. So, stoked. Let's uh, go ahead and pop it off the base here and see if we can get a kind of a good look around this thing. Ooh, the screw is in unbelievably tight. <sighs> Shoot, and I do not want to strip that out because that is going to be a nightmare. We're going to try the old flathead trick. Sometimes this will bite a little bit more. Holy. It's turning. 
albeit not very easily. I'm starting to get it loose there. Jeez Louise. Okay, that this is one of the more irritating things when you get a car like this and the screw does not want to come out. It's really weird too. It's like threaded super thin. Almost like an M2 screw. I think actually what's given the resistance is the screw through the through the base of the that the car rests on. So anyway, after a couple times in and out on that, that'll loosen up. And then this is the other piece that sits on the base. So we'll put that right there. Set that aside and then take a look at this monster. It, it rolls a little bit. It wants to. The, the base is actually... Nope, never mind. thought the base was plastic. It's metal. Uh, the base is metal on this thing, and we do have some detail on the back. we got some exhaust tips. GMC Savannah in black. This uh, You can also get this, I believe, in white... And like almost an ultra red looking color. And I was tempted to get that ultra red. But I just think this thing looks, or what looks like an ultra red color. I just think this thing looks so bad in black. Like it just, that's the color for this. It's high gloss black. So detail right here in the tail lights, looking really good. The detail in the front though is what really makes this thing, that grill. The GMC logo on that grill, and those look like actual like holes through. It's hard to tell if there's like anything behind it, but it's probably like a laser cut like piece of metal uh, that they used. That's what it looks like anyway. Uh, who knows what it actually is made out of? But uh, very very cool headlight detail, uh, the mirrors. You know, have a little piece of reflective material there to give them some realism. The rims are pretty cool. Uh, they do have they do have brakes that you can see through the tires, through the rims. So that's pretty nifty as well. And man, this thing is got some weight to it that's for sure the interior is also really detailed like very detailed in there so that's another really cool thing and you can't really see too much into the back seats but they are molded detail for sure i don't know if, they've, if they're painted with any other details but man this is a gmc savannah like conversion van kind of thing going on and it is awesome you got this thing up top it's probably like a sleeper that you can go into. And just, wow. I mean, very, very cool. So I, I'm really happy with this purchase. I think that uh, GOC makes some really nice cars. Now, there is not a any sort of like allusion to licensing on this thing. There's nothing on the base of this one like there was on the Ford. There is nothing... Uh, that says it is licensed on the packaging at all. So there's nothing, nothing at all that says it's licensed by GMC or General Motors. Uh, so if licensing is a, a thing for you, then this really isn't something for you. But uh, you're really not going to find something of this quality of this particular van from any other diecast manufacturer. And I highly doubt that anybody's really going to make one beyond these guys so that rear wheel does not really want to roll that much because it's kind of it appears to be it's on just a little crooked that's probably fixable this thing is screwed together of course we are not going to take it apart oh it's this wheel over here on this side and then tilt it in just a little bit now we got a roller well well at least more of one uh so anyway <laughs> uh yeah I'm impressed with this model. I think it's pretty darn cool. You guys let me uh, know what you think, of course, in the comments. 
but uh, yeah, I'm happy that I purchased this. I knew the minute I saw that they were making this thing that I would have to get it. You know, what's cool is, uh, you know, Tomica Limited Vintage is coming up with an Astro van too coming up. So, you know, it's we're getting some cool vans. And vans used to really be my thing when I first started collecting die casts. I really like, I'm just going to go after vans. I think vans are really cool. I still think vans are really cool. I mean, obviously it doesn't comprise my entire collection like that van guy collection on youtube but i do like a van and this thing is sick so you guys what do you think about this thing what do you think all right i think it's hard pressed to get any more detail really in 164 scale this is a uh, pretty close to the limit will i get any more gocs i don't know uh, it depends on the casting. I was tempted to get, they make like a black, like mean looking Crown Vic, like almost like an undercover cop car. And I, I thought about picking up one of those. It's just, these are not cheap in any, at any rate. These are not cheap. That's not cheap. But it is cheaper most often than buying an RLC car from Hot Wheels. So if you look at it that way, and I think these things actually will sort of hold their value because of the rarity of them kind of. And, you know, you have to get them from a site like AliExpress or you're going to overpay for them. You probably get them on eBay, too, but you're going to overpay on eBay. And you're going to get them probably from the same seller that's selling on AliExpress. So, and these are going to be fairly limited. So I think, you know, as a U.S. Cellu seller, cellular, as a U.S. seller, if you wanted to sell your collection of, like, really premium stuff like this, I don't think you have a problem doing it uh, at all. And at least getting your money back. So if, if, if you collect as sort of an investment, uh, these aren't a bad one to make. The other thing is, is that you can, you know, you can take them off and out of the package and then put them back in. And as long as you take care of them, like there's no, you know, it's not an issue, right? So, so if you collect to kind of invest a bit, you know, Hot Wheels may still be kind of king, but you really got to pick and choose which ones. And, you know, this stuff like this, you know, this will, these are going to be kind of hard to find. After a short period of time, these are going to be hard to find. Once they're gone, they're probably going to be gone. And then you'll never see them again. They'll, they'll be on eBay when somebody sells them, but good luck. It's like some older Kyosho and stuff like that. It just gets super expensive. All right. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about this GMC Savannah. I'm digging it quite a bit big time but i mean you know you know i would so all right thank you guys have a good one